This is a quick example to show how to get started with the MoForte Guitar Chart Editor. To get started, tap on More, and then New Chart. Give your chart a name. This is the starting template for your chart. Tap and hold on this G chord until it flashes. This will set the current edit position in the chart list. Tap the G chord to enter the chart tool. Tap on the Add Another Chord tool to add more chords. D A minor 9 and C. Tap on the back button and here is your chord chart. Tap back one more time to the performance view. You can either play it yourself or you can use the perform button to have Mo Forte Guitar play it for you. Next, we'll learn about the chart editor. This is the chart editor. A chart is a list of musical items. A chart can contain chords, rests, repeats, effects, or effect presets. The initial template for every chart contains a player, an effects chain, and an initial chord that you can change. At the top, you'll find the name that you've given your chart. You can also edit the name here. The Info button can be used to add metadata to your chart, author, and description. The Edit button can be used to edit your chart list. You can use the blue Copy tool to make a copy of a chart item. On the left, you'll find the red Delete tool used to delete a chart item. On the far right, you'll find the Move tool, which can be used to move around a line within a chart. You can also use a right to left swipe to delete items. You can set the current editing position by tapping and holding the line until it flashes. Anything that you add will now be placed after the current position. You can edit the details of a musical item by tapping on it. All the charts that you create are found in Mojo, My Stuff, My Charts. Next, we'll learn about the Chord Tool. You can enter chords in your chart with the Chord Tool. At the very top, you will find a set of short strings that allow you to try out the chord that you have chosen. You can add a label to a chord. Labels can be used to name musical sections such as an A section or an ending. Repeats and endings also use labels to identify where to go. There are three types of chords that you can enter. Standard chords, custom chords, and tablature. With the Add Another Chord tool, you can create a list of chords without having to return to the main chart editor. Here is an example of entering a list of chords with the Add Another Chord tool. When entering lists of chords, you can use the Info button to get a quick look at what is in your chart. If you would like some quick help with the control, you can use a long press to bring up a help bubble. The Details button allows you to add articulation parameters to your chords. Next, we'll learn about Standard Chords. 
standard chords can be entered with the chord wheel. The first wheel is the pitch of the chord. The second wheel is the type of chord ordered by most commonly used. The third wheel is the fret position of the chord. Sometimes there are several different voicings at the same position. The fourth wheel is the number of beats that the chord is played using chord rhythm notation. The chord that you have chosen appears as a chord symbol. You can also try it out by strumming the short strings at the top. Next, we'll learn about custom chords. Custom chords. When you add a custom chord, you can create a new chord or choose one from a library. When you create a new custom chord, you can give it a name. Custom chords can be added with the fret wheel. The first six wheels are used to set the frets to be played for each string. An X indicates that the string is not played. The seventh wheel is used to indicate the number of beats that the chord is played. Now that you've created your custom chord, you can use it multiple times in your chart. When you add a custom chord, select From Chart. Select the custom chord, and an instance of the chord will be placed in your chart. You can replace a single instance of a custom chord with a different custom chord from your chart or with a custom chord from the library. Choose the replacement chord and it will be copied into your chart. When you create a custom chord, you can publish it so that it is visible for other charts to copy. To use your published custom chord, create a new chart. Add a custom chord. Choose from library. Navigate to the chart that is publishing the custom chord. Select the custom chord and it will be copied to your chart. Next, we'll learn about tablature. Tablature can be added with the tablature fret wheel. The first six wheels are used to set the frets to be played for each string. An X indicates that the string is not played. The seventh wheel is used to indicate the number of beats that the chord is played. Tablature is usually played in power chord mode. To set up power chord mode, tap on the player at the top of the chart. You can select power chord mode from the strum selector at the top of the player unit. You can also adjust the tempo in the player unit. Here is a short phrase entered as tablature. Next, we'll learn about chord parameters. Chords can be articulated with a number of different parameters. The details button can be used to access and modify the chord parameters. Examples of articulation parameters include brightness, harmonics, and slides. Here is a before and after example of brightness. Next, we'll learn about the rest tool. The rest tool is used to add a rest to your chart. The rest beat wheel is used to set the duration of the rest. Here is an example of a chart with a four beat rest. Next, we'll learn about the Repeat Tool. The Repeat Tool There are two types of repeats, 
simple repeats, and endings. A simple repeat will repeat back to a label and play that section a specified number of times. Here is a simple example that will repeat to the label verse. It will play this section two times. An ending will go to a labeled ending after a specified number of times. Here is an example of a simple repeat with a first and second ending. Vamping sections are supported with repeat forever. Here is an example of a chart with the forever repeat as a vamping section. In a vamping section, a gray breakout arrow will appear in the upper right hand corner. If you tap the breakout button, the vamp will end at the end of the section. Next, the Effects tool. At the top of every chart, you will find an effects chain. You can use the effects chain to turn on an effect for the whole chart. If you tap on the effect unit, you can modify its control knobs. You can also turn on or turn off an effect anywhere on the chart. Here is an example of adding an effect to a chart. Tap and hold where you'd like to insert the effect. Tap on the Effects tool. Select the effect that you'd like to insert into your chart, in this case, the flanger. Like a real flanger stomp box, you turn it on by tapping the foot switch. The flanger is now inserted into your chart after the C add 9 chord. Now select the D chord where we'll insert a flanger off effect. Select the flanger. The flanger is turned off by default. The flanger is now turned off after the D chord. More details about working with the effects chain can be found in the effects chain tutorial video. Next, the preset tool. The preset tool can be used to add an effects preset anywhere in the chart. With the preset tool, you can make a new preset, use a preset that's already in your chart, or use a preset from the preset library. Moforte Guitar comes with a library of presets. This is an example that uses the preset Blue Swirl from the preset library. Select the preset. Here it is in your chart. More details about working with presets can be found in the Effects Chain tutorial video. Next, strumming and power chord charts. 
Moforte Guitar supports two different types of charts, strumming charts and power chording charts. Strumming charts are charts that you can strum or can be auto-strummed. Power chording charts are charts that are tapped. This includes tablature charts. For strumming charts, different strums can be used to autoplay the chart. At the top of every chart is a player effects unit which is used to auto-perform your chart. The player for your chart has a details button. Under the details button you will find the strum controller where you can choose the strum patterns used to play your chart. There is a library of strums that you can use in your chart. You can also design your own strums. Designing your own strums is covered in the Strum Editor tutorial video. And now, it's your turn.